glorious morning it is it's finally rained oh, so happy it's nearly eight o'clock uh it's still gonna be a bit warm today but not half as bad as it has been which i'm really glad about because i haven't actually been doing very much artwork really i've done a few bits but nothing major well, the only thing that I would consider slightly major, I've just cut in half. You know, I love my tea. So originally, it was whole. So that was that. But I didn't love it enough to fix it. So I decided I'm just gonna cut it in half and see what that does. I think even that, if I was to cut that off and have that, that would even be better. Same with that really, maybe there. They are really chunky and I've scraped it out and everything. There's one particular mark that I'm just in love with and it's that one there. You might have seen this on Instagram and Facebook. Gouache and oil pastel. And this is gouache oil pastel and glitter. And this one has actually got a name. It's called Waiting for Rain. And boy, was I waiting for rain. I really like this piece, actually. This is Burnt Sienna. I did it with another piece as well. This curled up really bad, and it was because I didn't paint the back in gesso. Like, this one has been painted, and it's a lot flatter. I'll be finishing these off today, hopefully. But that is just so, so beautiful, those marks. Oh. I love finding new stuff out, but I do know what I'm going to do with this one. First of all, I'm going to paint the back so it keeps stops curling up because that's getting really annoying. Also, a new sort of toy arrived. These are meant to be value finders, by the way, as a matter of interest. I think your your battery. And we're having so much fun as well. I'll pop back on in a bit. I'm waiting for this. Hang on. Oh my god, they are tiny. More of this stuff. So one of the things that everyone seems to be banging on about is soft pastels. I haven't used soft pastels for years since school. I just always remember them to be really scratchy and just dust, you know? And I also got another thing, which is a bit retro, Mod Podge, uh, extreme glitter. So I figured I could use this and put like a film over my artwork. So I'll let that dry, add to that. I'm going to test out my Mod Podge, but um, not before, however, I test out my pastels. So what I'd done, I decided to see about using the Rembrandt range. The reason is, is because you can buy them in little packets like this, but you can also just sort of be specific with the colours you want. I have added some more to my basket because I figured if I like them then I will get more. And I also, I don't like these boxes. I already know I don't like these boxes because I just think that they're just annoying to get this foamy thing in and out. So I figured I'll just do what I did with my oil pastels and get one of these boxes. They were really cheap. Got the greens. Oh, oh they haven't broken. Oh, that's good. I got the earth type. I got the smoky greys which at first I thought were more like blues. They're quite dark, these ones. I think I might have to get some lighter ones. And I also got deep blues. Rembrandt, 
lots of pastels. Okay, so we'll start with the earth. Oh, they feel quite soft, but but not soft. Does that make sense? Like it goes on really nice. It doesn't leave as much dust as I thought it was going to. That is quite nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, that. Yeah, they are really nice. They're quite inexpensive as well. I think each box cost me six pounds. These are greens. I can't remember specifically what type of greens. It's quite nice. I liked because they had different tones and you could just stick to certain families. They also have different like dark tones and light tones within the same family, like different sets. So if your preference is more towards kind of darks and some colors, it is making some dust, which it is, it, I expected that, so I'm not really concerned about that. These greys are more bluey, which I really, really like. Oh, that is nice. I'm really into the, this baby blue at the moment. I have no idea why. I'm just going to go and blow it off one moment. That is really quite pigmented. Just going to see. Oh, they are. <gasps> they are. Can you even handle it? Very, very nice. Right, so I know what I'm going to be doing for the afternoon. Now, Mod Podge. Is it extreme glitter though? It says extreme glitter. So that doesn't look like extreme glitter to me. Maybe I need to mix it up maybe. It has a sort of shine to it. Oh, it stinks. Oh my word. That is potent. Extreme glitter. Let's see. It has a slight glitteriness to it. But when they said extreme, my version of extreme in theirs is clearly quite different. I'll see how that dries. Oh, I can see it a little bit. But will you be able to see? That's the telling thing. I'm just editing and some more pastels turn up. So this one is Earth Reds, which is quite nice. And this one is Cool Greens. I have another one coming, some yellows, but I think that's back ordered. So that's going to be a while. So we'll go with the Cool Greens first. Oh, that one's a good one. It's almost a black really, isn't it? It's a little bit is green, but that's nice. I like that one. Now we're going to go with the Earth Reds, these are. Oh, I've got that green on my fingers. Yeah. Oh, gonna wash these actually. I'm actually excited about these. The pigments are just so rich. One of the other things is they are water soluble, which is like a major thing for me. And I've got the yellows coming, but I don't think they'll be here in time. They arrived. They actually arrived. I'm really glad that they arrived, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. These two I'm intrigued by. Oh, yes. That's kind of, that is my colour, isn't it, really? This one. What's this one? Oh, yeah. That is so nice. Look at that. The other thing I want to see is if we can... Yeah, we can. We can actually mix them as well. That's nice. These two are really nice. Let me just... Nice. Oh, yeah. Love, 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 love. Oh, I love it. There's a lot of mileage with them, especially... Ooh. My experience with chalk pastels or soft pastels are very limited extremely limited in fact so i don't know where all of the i don't know whether all of them are water soluble and if they are to what extent i'm loving this oh, i'm loving it so much <laughs> So 
I'm going to give you a bit of an update on some of the stuff that I've bought. I'm going to review a few things. First of all, I'm going to review quickly, just go over this Mod Podge. I haven't used it to its full potential. I think there's still a lot of mileage. I used it here. Can you see it? No, no you can't. Right, well, you've got one. You can see a little bit there. One, and then you've got two. So this is one layer, this is two layers. And you could see uh, like a visible difference. It was easy to apply. Obviously it is meant for collage. So it's meant to kind of be sticky, but glittery and all that good stuff. So these are just different materials. So you can see there, there we go. It's probably better on a darker surface. So this is just one coat and this is just a little bit of fabric. It's stuck down really well. And then I tried it with some grass and also with that packing paper. Yeah, they went down really well. Mm, I'm not liking that so much, but that's what I've done in that one. I think it will, it will be good when I put my own glitter in as well, mix it in, use just like a base rather than on its own. I think it will be quite a good addition to experiment with. The product itself for what it is in fact useful, which is, you know, collage and crafting. Brilliant, I couldn't recommend anything better. It is. It does exactly what it says on the tin. So for that reason, it's great. But I'm trying to crowbar it into another thing and it's just taken a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> the others was obviously the Rembrandt pastels. I can honestly say I'm really liking them. I appreciate there are probably better brands out there, but two things. One, if you're wanting quite a, a, an inexpensive but reliable soft pastel, these are these are br a brilliant way to go. There are several ways to purchase them. You can get like starter packs and stuff. But the reason I chose to go with like the five tonals was because I could choose then which sort of family I I invested in. I didn't have to buy the full pack where I have neon pinks and things, and I'm like, well, what am I going to do with these? So uh, it's it's a really great way to start your soft pastel collection, if you will. So I'm just going to show you a few things I've done with them. So I've done this little sketch. The line works in graphite, uh, the brown and the sky are in those pastels. This is the first time I was using them and then I kind of did my own thing and added my own glitter, obviously. What I was trying to do, I don't know whether I've got an example in here, and I decided to do the, like this line drawing out of pen. So your brain kind of fills in where the lines don't exist so you read it so I was trying to push that as far as I could go and I came up with this kind of little mark here so there we go to see if it's still red as like a barn you can see it here as well I did it I think it bled though so it's to there that one went a bit weird oh, which I don't mind I'll put a little window in see if it helped it did not <laughs> I love this so much, the simplicity. I love the kind of blank space as well. I really like just untouched space. I really did over egg the pudding, but the, the glitter, I love it. And I like bits of it. This is always the way with me. I like sections of it, but I do think as a whole, I over egged it. So I decided then to do another one. So this one has actually got Mod Podge on it. You can see it better there actually. Yeah. This has been painted with a bit of gesso just to kind of make it that like really flatten it out and these are the Rembrandt pastels. They are really pigmented. Very happy with that. Right, I'm going to give you a bit of an update on some of the works that I've done. Oh yeah, so the wetty one, what, you know the one that looked wet at the beginning? Okay, so this is what it ended up being. Oh, not what I had planned, I will be perfectly honest. I really got into these kind of marks that I made with the graphite and I just kept kind of putting stuff in, taking stuff out, putting stuff in. So this is graphite, glitter, acrylic and gouache and a bit of gesso thrown in. Hmm. It's not my best piece, but I've kept it about and the reason is, is because I really like the way these marks show through. 
I also like the kind of flatness of the gouache with this wet, quite deranged background. I like it peeping through. And I also like these little bloops. Blue, bloop, bloop, bloop. I've also got this like chrome pen. Um, you can sort of see there. I really like that. That was the big pond that I was doing and it started to rain. So I thought, do you know what? It's gonna rain. And I really like, I really like this piece actually. The up close is just so nice. And I like the paint on the glitter as well. This is yum, 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 yum. I did this one, which actually I did not like when I was doing it. I was like, oh, it's just not happening. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I've fallen a bit in love with this one. I think it's because the background, I think more layers definitely are required. It's very playful, but it's also quite ominous as well. I did a few practice pieces. I don't like this as much. However, I do like these ground that I did. I think I could probably push this a lot further as well. Gillian Carnegie. I really liked her trees. So I decided to sort of be sort of inspired by her trees and then kind of add my own iridescent flair to it. And then I decided to hone in on sort of this bit of it and create that. I like the painterliness of it. I did a smaller version in that one, in my little A5 one. I love these colours. This is the taupe, homemade taupe colour in the gouache. That's what that is. It's quite delicious, isn't it? Yeah. I hope that was informative. I'm in that weird stage where I create the work and then I'm assessing it all. Assessing the mediums, giving an update on sort of different materials. I would never be one to review something for its actual purpose. Do you see what I mean? Other than maybe the Rembrandt soft pastels, I would never be able to do full on product reviews and crowbar them into something they shouldn't be. So my assessment of them wouldn't necessarily be a reflection of the product and what it was originally made for. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm quite happy with my progress. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope that people can see that I'm having fun People have been engaging with the channel, with my work, and it is brilliant. So thank you for that. Continue to do that. Ask me as many questions as you want. Ask me any questions about the products that I'm using. If you want me to go over something specific, or do some demonstrations, or any of your ideas, just comment below and I will I'll start featuring more of that. We are, at, at this moment, we are at 92 subscribers. So for those of you that are new, thank you, welcome, and sorry for the crazy. Subscribe, like it, comment, engage. I wanna know what you think. I know my work is mental and a bit crazy. I'm not really sure I'm doing half the time, but I'm loving the journey. So, you know, let me know what you think, irrespective of whether it's good or bad. I need to know. So, bye guys. Thanks.